Welcome to solve the virtual lab at NITK. In this short tutorial, I will explain you how to use this interface to do the velocity analysis of scotch yoke mechanism to determine the velocity of the oscillating slider given the position and orientation of the crank and link lens. As you can see here, this interface mainly consists of three sections. One for the animation, second one for changing the variables and third one for the control. Here you have an option to see the graph that is plotted dynamically for various lengths and angular velocities the amplitude versus time graph can be seen plotted and by moving the slider you can vary the crank and angular velocity and the corresponding changes can be seen in the animation as well as in the graph now if you want to change the angle to analyze various velocities of the crank mechanism, pause the animation by clicking here in controls and then change the angle. Once you set it up for the required angle theta, corresponding diagram can be seen here. Press play to see and analyze changing velocities of the scotch yoke mechanism. And if you want to see the graph, click here and again based on your angle crank length and angular velocity the dynamic graph is plotted. Thank you for watching this tutorial.